Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. We got some uh, Twin X flares and tens of thousands of outages were reported by major cellular carriers throughout the United States after this pair of powerful flares erupted from the sun on the 21st and the 22nd. So pretty much last night, uh, these occurred and in, into the morning. And 1.8 X-class flare occurred at 6.07 on the 21st, and then the 1.7 X-class flare erupted at 1.32 a.m. on February 22nd. The flares erupted from the region um, that continues to exhibit very small magnetic complexity. Uh, NOAA wrote in a statement, no apparent CMEs resulting from these events have been observed um, at the time of their, you know, writing it, but it's nothing can be ruled out. Nevertheless, they issued an alert today for a solar radio admission at 658. And meanwhile, nationwide throughout the United States, widespread cellular outages were reported Thursday morning following the solar flares. According to the Associated Press, tens of thousands of outages were reported by major cellular carriers such as AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. It remains unclear if the two events are related, but come on, guys. <laughs> the reports of outages appeared to begin around the same time as the solar flares. So, you know, the cellular companies were like, I don't know, I didn't do it, you didn't do it. You know, like, obviously, we know it's the sun. It's not hard math here. Noah notes, while most of the energetic material that erupted outward is expected to pass ahead of Earth in its orbit around the sun, a glancing influence might be possible on February 25th. Solar flares are caused when magnetic energy builds up in the sun's atmosphere until the sun relieves the buildup in an intense burst of electromagnetic radiation. These outbursts are ranked by size into lettered groups, with X-class flares being the most powerful. Following X-class, there are M-class flares that are 10 times smaller than X-class flares, then C-class flares, and then B-class flares, and finally A-class flares, which are too weak to affect the Earth with any significance. The sun's activity is currently increasing as it approaches the most active part of its 11-year solar cycle, also known as solar maximum, during which we are also in a grand solar minimum where there's a thinning magnetosphere. Um, while solar maximum could mean more space weather events, such as communication blackouts and threats to spacecraft in orbit, it also can lead to more widespread auroras worldwide in a silver lining, which is very beautiful. But um, there's, you know, space weather causes, we're, we're electromagnetic beings. The sun is bioelectromagnetic. Like we're all in, you know, scalar waves, sine waves. There's, we're, we're swimming in energy. So during these um, storms, when this energy comes in, these blackouts come in, it's important just to be mindful and ground your body and um, just come to your center energetically within your body so you can, you can, your body's able to feel and process itself. A grounding, if you research at Google it, you'll see um, energetically health benefit wise is very, very beneficial to everybody. And during these times when we're having an increase with space weather going into a, a solar max, um, it's, it's definitely, you know, something I recommend practicing uh, in, in, you know, just stabilizing your well-being to get through this space weather. I don't think a lot of people really understand how their environment actually can affect them within their own being. So, you know, let it be me to tell you. <laughs> So you guys have a great day. If you want to support this channel, we're coming back online slowly but surely. Buy a t-shirt, 
do Patreon up, any of that, help us out. It's awesome that we're coming back. And you guys solely are the reason why I've been able to keep our website up and running for as long as I have. And I'm forever eternally grateful for every single one of you who just stop by, listen, whether it's just leaving a comment or a like, everything is appreciated with your support. So have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Do you like this show? Give us a thumbs up. Want to support us more? Share to your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below.